It's tool time, kids! <laughs> oh, Lord. It never hurts to have tools in the toolbox, right? Because you never know when you're going to need them or want them. I'm Zach Kidd, the veteran realtor of Pinellas County, Florida. I'm a United States Air Force veteran and a former condo and HOA manager. I'm a member of the veteran-owned business community, and I'm also on the board of my local Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. And yeah, I prefer to work with other veterans and VA loans. In this case, I want my separated, retired, or silly villains to know about these tools too, even if you're a I'ma die in this house kind of buyer. But let's start off with the active duty crowd, both the noobs and the mature ones. You guys have your LES and your VA loan which means you have a steady, stated, and government-backed income source. It might be shitty, but it's solid. You also qualify for 100% financing, meaning the bank takes all the risk and you get the reward. Double bonus if you got that BAH. Government money is paying for it too. Ha 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 I love that. Anyhow, the downside of this is you know you're going to move, but the upside of that is you get to plan accordingly. For my civilians in DD-214 crew, you may or may not have some of those available, but you do definitely recognize them, right? Your situation might be a lot different, but you can use these tools too. Literally anyone can. But if you want to get the most out of them, your mindset needs to be as close as possible to the active duty crew. See my exit strategy video for that. The two main tools I'm referring to are Cap App and Rental. You can make a lot of money with either or with both. In short, cap app refers to capital appreciation or more accurately, the capital gains tax exemption with an appreciation play. Yeah, cap app is better. Buy low, sell high, it's that simple. You can buy a good bones property and fix it up, then sell it for more. Also known as the flip or more accurately, forced appreciation. You can do this with average homes. Take something a little ugly and make it a little pretty. We call these lipstick flips. Paint, floors, just the basics. You can get more aggressive with buying distressed properties or working with luxury homes, but I'm gonna skip that for now. The key to making this work is you have to live in it for two years out of the previous five, wait for it, to qualify for the capital gains tax exemption. This means you can cash out up to $250,000 single, $500,000 married, that's half a million dollars, absolutely tax free. The IRS literally says, we don't wanna hear about it. That never happens, right? But PCS is actually a legitimate reason to get the full benefit in less time. Show your orders, pass go, take the money and shut the fuck up, you're good. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're other option though is to rent out your place, PCS, and collect some checks. You can't, well, shouldn't do this with an existing VA loan, but after one year of ownership and presumably occupancy, you can refinance into a different loan and you're back in good graces. If you fixed it up, it's appraised at the new value, so you can actually get paid out on the difference, still keep the property and the cash flow. Dude, how amazing is that? You'll definitely want a property manager for this, but you know you're gonna move, so you can start shopping for one immediately. A property manager's entire job is to be the landlord. They collect the rent money, they pay the bills, they make sure the repairs are done, and they deal with the tenants and toilets for you. Yeah, they get paid too, but if you're doing this right, you should still make at least a penny per month, uh, probably two to three times that. You can make a lot of money either short term or long term with these two methods. And the best part is you can mix and match for your best results. There are more advanced techniques out there, but for those, check out my beginning investor series. 